guys, this is Leslie and I'm back with another book review. This time it's from Dan Wells and it's the book I'm Not a Serial Killer. This is the first book of the series. There's about six books, I believe, and this is the first one. And the whole story focuses on John Wayne Cleaver, who's a 15-year-old high school kid. On the outside, he may seem normal, but in reality, he's a very dark and peculiar person. He believes he has the potential to be a serial killer because he possesses all three main characteristics that are associated with serial killers. First of all, he's a bedwetter, he's a pyromaniac, and has a fascination with fire, and he, he has a tendency to torture animals, which all serial killers possess. He's also very fascinated with death and dead bodies. Um, it doesn't help the fact that he lives in an apartment that's above a mortuary. Both his mother and auntie um, work in the mortuary that prepare the dead. And sometimes he helps out with them. He helps out with the embalming and the preparation of the dead bodies. And he's always fascinated with the insides and the organs and all the other stuff. He has sociopath tendencies and he has been diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder. On top of that, he, he believes um, he's really linked to serial killers because of his name. First of all, his name is John Wayne Cleaver, and he's named after John Wayne Gacy or Gacy, which is a serial killer in America. His last name is Cleaver, which is also can be used as a murder weapon. And his father's name is Sam, and he can also be attributed for being called the Son of Sam, which is another serial killer in New York. He's also fascinated and obsessed with other serial killers. For his book report, he decided to write about the BTK killer, which is Dennis Rader or Rader. I don't know how to say his name. And this is quite fascinating, and I've never heard of these people before. And I had to go to my computer and Google each one of them to find out the background story. So that's some educational material for you. It's very fascinating and interesting, but very dark and disturbing as well. In order to keep the people around him safe, John had made up a list of rules to keep people protected from him. First of all, if he feels someone is antagonizing him, bullying him, or being mean to him, he will force himself to compliment that person or to say nice things about that person to combat the negative or dark feelings he has. If he finds himself becoming too interested or fascinated with one person or even stalking that person, he will purposely avoid that person or the individual for a week. Sort of his theories like out of sight and out of mind. He lacks empathy and compassion and he's very um, emotionally disconnected to people around him. Um, especially kids his age and even his own mother. The main story happens when dead bodies started turning up everywhere around town. What's mysterious about it that is that each body it has a body part or organ missing. This has been attributed to John thinking there's a serial killer on the loose in his town. And he became really fascinated and he started following the news and the stories around town. He started profiling and looking at other people and trying to catch who the serial killer is. There's a monster inside of him, he nicknamed it Mr. Monster, that wants to stop the serial killer. He has urges to kill and to stop the killer. And his, re his reasoning in his head is that he's doing it for the good of the community. So even though he's very bad and he wants to kill someone, he's trying to make excuses and reason it up that in the end, it's for the greater good of mankind and, the, and his community. John Wayne Cleaver has been compared to Dexter a lot. Um, I haven't seen that TV show, so I can't really critique very well on it. But if you watch Dexter, then you'll have a good idea of what kind of character he is. This book has um, sets you up really good. The first 100 pages is gripping and pulls the reader into the story. I was really fascinated with what this character is and how he's gonna turn out. After that, there's a quick turn of events. This book turned into a supernatural direction and it lost that psychological thriller or horror that what I thought it was going to be in the beginning. It was really unexpected and the turn of events really surprised me and I didn't see that coming. If you read the book, you'll know what I mean. 
I thought this book was gonna be a psychological thriller. Um, it's gonna be a mystery about crime of who's finding out who the serial killer is. While this person is trying to suppress his urges and um, strong feelings to murder and to hurt people. But the, because of the recent turn of events, it became a bit more like um, supernatural and um, I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not really feeling it, but the character is so interesting, so I think I might follow it into the next book. I highly recommend this book for people who like mysteries and um, thrillers and who likes crime and who likes um, solving mysteries. And if you're into Supernatural, I guess you can have a go at this little bad boy here. I hope you like my quick review. Please like and subscribe if you do. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!